Hi, my name is Bruce and I'm with Oilfield Innovations. Today's presentation is about the proportions of offshore well plug and abandonment, or PA. Many of you may have seen the Hollywood films Armageddon and Deepwater Horizon. The first is a space film and has no basis in reality. While the other construes the official facts to please its primary audience, but it does a good job at depicting the equipment of a semi submersible drilling rig. The first thing to keep in mind is that blowouts, like the one on the Deepwater Horizon, may occur when pressures have been bottled up within the earth, before a well has been produced. Well abandonment occurs after a well can no longer produce, and, if handled incorrectly, could slowly leak fluids into the ocean that cannot blow out like a Hollywood film because the pressure has been sucked out of the well, and it's basically dead. In fact, for a drilling rig to abandon a well, it must remove the production tree to connect equipment like the blowout preventers to the well, as shown here. In almost every PNA, the well being abandoned is dead. The well poses no risk of blowout, and a rig's blowout preventers are used as a matter of procedure. If it was a dangerous situation, would these men be standing over an open well? In plug and abandonment, PNA, it is important to remain calm. It is not rocket science. It is simply putting cement into a hole in the ground that could, in many years' time, repressurize and leak oil or gas into the environment. Which brings us to the point of the presentation. As shown here, the primary abandonment plugs for the largest wells are about the size of your hand. A relatively small offshore drilling rig, a Laterno 116C shown on the right, is enormous and dwarfs minimum facility offshore platforms like the one shown. In most well PNAs, cement is placed into a hole in the ground the size of your hand and the well is not capable of any meaningful production and is therefore dead. Do you really need a gigantic drilling rig costing enormous sums of money? Obviously the answer is no. Let's speak about onshore versus offshore. Onshore pulling units and small drilling rigs are cheap and can effectively abandon most onshore wells but the vast and often hostile and ocean environment requires much more expensive logistical alternatives. Offshore drilling rig logistics, shown in red above, are very expensive. Rigless logistics, shown in green, are not necessarily cheap compared to land-based alternatives, but they are 30 to 70 percent less expensive than drilling rig logistics. As shown on the left of this diagram, boats can use motion compensated gangways or walk to work systems to access offshore platforms, or alternatively, if the platform has a helideck, it can be accessed by helicopters and cranes on the platform and lift equipment off of the boat for use in plug and abandonment. Conversely, an expensive jack up drilling rig can cantilever over a subsea well or over an offshore platform, as shown in the previous picture of a 116C class rig. Alternatively, where water depths allow, cheaper offshore wind farm units can jack up next to a platform and use a gangway to access a platform, or the unit can use its cranes to access subsea wells in shallow water. In deeper water, compared to drilling rigs, light well intervention vessels can abandon wells without using a riser at significantly less cost. For large platforms and deeper water, refurbishing decrepit drilling rigs can be as expensive as running a new one, and the wells can be abandoned riglessly using the helideck and rigless abandonment equipment on the larger platforms. And finally, semi-submersible drilling rigs are the most expensive way to abandon a subsea well whereas a light well intervention vessel can cost 30% to 70% less. Here are two examples of rigless PNA logistics, where on the left, a wind farm unit is jacked up next to a minimum facilities platform in the North Sea, and a gangway is used to access the platform for various decommissioning activities, including plug and abandonment. On the right is an uncompensated walk-to-work gangway extending from a barge to a minimum facilities platform. 
while the upper center illustration depicts a motion compensated gangway that can be used from the back of a boat. As you can see from the size alone, such rigless PA logistical means will be significantly less expensive than using any drilling rig for offshore well abandonment. Having discussed the physical proportions of well abandonment, let's talk about the financial proportions. In January this year, 2017, the Financial Times reported UK taxpayers are pay facing a £24 billion bill for decommissioning oil and gas fields in the North Sea, which threatens to wipe out remaining tax revenues from an industry that has been among the Treasury's most reliable cash cows for the past four decades. Well, abandonment is about 50% of decommissioning costs and therefore represents at least £12 billion. But drilling rig plug and abandonment estimates are typically 1.5 to 3.5 times more expensive than estimated, and therefore plug and abandonment alone may represent £24 billion. The question that must be asked is why drilling rigs are being used for well abandonment in the North Sea. The wells being abandoned are dead. Their diameters are no larger than the span of your hand. And proven rigless abandonment means exist. Why are drilling rigs being used for P&A in the North Sea when there are other means that are 30 to 70 percent lower cost? It is a question worth asking when tax revenues are being lost. Oilfield Innovations has some great ideas for making P&A substantially cheaper. Other companies also have some great ideas for P&A. Unfortunately, UK taxpayers will continue to lose revenue and neither ours nor our other companies' P&A cost reduction inventions will ever be used until everyone asks why offshore drilling rigs are being used in the North Sea for dumping cement into a hole in the ground about the size of your hand. Rigless abandonment is used in other parts of the world. Why not the North Sea? Thank you very much for listening, and please watch some of our other videos. Also, you can download the PDF explanation of downhole processes that we have, which can reduce the cost of plug and abandonment significantly. Thanks again. Goodbye.